Awesome. Uh, thanks, Ben. Really appreciate the introduction and, and thanks for having me. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Zach Portler. I'm a product lead at Paxos, where I head up our cash and crypto business lines. And for those of you that don't know about Paxos, we're a regulated custodian that's providing a gateway between physical and digital assets. And the reason we're focused on that is that uh, we believe that over the next two decades, there's going to be a massive migration uh, where the majority of the world, $600 trillion of assets move from closed ledgers to public blockchains. And we think that that's going to create a ton of economic benefit in terms of decreased uh, transaction costs, increased transaction speed, and broader financial access. We also think that mainstream financial services firms, in order to uh, sort of uh, benefit from that evolution, will need a new age uh, regulated uh, custodi custodial platform that they can partner with. Uh, and one thing that's different about the way that PAX is, is pursuing this custodial platform opportunity uh, is that we currently have uh, regulated products where we're holding uh, or tokenizing assets uh, across crypto, cash, uh, commodities, and securities. And the reason for that is our goal is to be a one-stop shop uh, for companies to come uh, for any uh, sort of digital assets that they want to hold, tokenize, or mobilize. And to give you one example of how that would work today, uh, let's say that Ben uh, sent a million dollars to Paxos, and he could do that via wire, ACH, Silvergate transfer, and Paxos would take those assets, we would mint them as US dollar back tokens or stable coins uh, onto the Ethereum blockchain, and then we would transfer those tokens to a crypto wallet that Ben held. And at that point, Ben could keep the tokens in his wallet, he could transfer them to anyone across the world, he could generate yield on them via different crypto lending platforms, and any other person that had those US dollar back tokens could come back to Paxos and redeem them one-to-one -one for US dollars with the confidence that uh, the dollars would be there because Paxos is regulated like a bank. So that's just a bit about how Paxos is tokenizing assets today. What I wanted to jump into next and focus this demo on is the partnership we recently launched uh, where we're powering uh, PayPal's crypto offering behind the scenes. So what I'll first do is I'll jump into uh, the PayPal app. So I'm gonna assume that everyone can see my screen right now. And this is my PayPal account. Uh, which you might have noticed PayPal added crypto to their uh, US uh, product in mid-October. They also have it in the iOS and Android apps, and they just finished rolling it out to their US user base. But you can see there's this Your Crypto uh, feature. And if I click this, I just want to view my Bitcoin holdings. So I'll go here, and the first thing uh, is that you can see this historical price chart of Bitcoin uh, going up quite a bit today. Uh, as along with the other uh, crypto assets that PayPal supports. So they have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. And this type of crypto chart uh, is a pretty common uh, feature you'll see in retail crypto apps in terms of just engaging users around the price of uh, price movement of crypto assets. So I could change it to a, see the one month view, for example. But what I wanna do now is I wanna buy some Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click this buy button. I'll put in $5, just click next. And then my payment information is preloaded. So you can see here, it says the amount of Bitcoin I'll buy, the exchange rate, the price, and then there's currently no fee, and I'll pay $5. So I'll hit buy now. And now I got a success message. And if I quickly hit refresh, uh, you can see that the amount of Bitcoin I just owned updated. And actually, crazy, it's actually $100 current value. That was not planned. Uh, so what I want to do next is show you the API calls that Pax, uh, Paxos is making, or the PayPal is making to Paxos to power this experience. Uh, so here's a this is a, print, uh, this is a Postman library that I have, and uh, the first thing going back to that PayPal workflow is you saw the historical price chart, and the way that uh, sort of PayPal is connecting with the Paxos platform for that is they're making a call to the list historical prices endpoint, which you can see here, there's this BTC USD uh, parameter in uh, the URL, and then there's a specifying how many data points uh, they want the API to return. And if I just click send here, 
you'll see a time series of historical prices that can display really nicely into a UI visualization uh, to track uh, the price of crypto. The next thing I did uh, in the app was I put in that uh, request to buy a Bitcoin. And when I did that, uh, underneath the hood, there was a call to the Paxos list quotes endpoint, which you can see here, it says market specified Bitcoin USD. And what that API returns is a quote where you can see there's a buy side and a sell side, the price, the base asset is Bitcoin, uh, the quote asset uh, is USD, and then it has an expiration time. And what I'm gonna do now is just quickly copy this quote ID. And then the next thing I did in the app was I clicked buy. So you can see here, there's another endpoint, uh, create quote executions, uh, which this is a post call. So this is what happens when uh, a user is actually making an order in the PayPal app, which in the body of that call, uh, the quote, they specify the quote ID along with the amount of $5. So I'll hit send, that quote actually expired. So quickly, I'll just do this again. And now I've got a success message. So you can see uh, the quote was created. Uh, there is a buy, the price I bought the asset for, the amount I purchased, as well as the amount that I paid in USD. And then the last thing was then when I returned to that initial screen, I saw the, the real-time price of my holdings, the endpoint that PayPal's hitting there is a list tickers endpoint where Paxos is returning the best bid and the best ask for Bitcoin. And through that, PayPal can construct a real-time price of the asset. So those, that's really the core of the Paxos uh, crypto platform that PayPal is leveraging uh, for their crypto product. There's a lot going on uh, underneath the hood from uh, availability, redundancy, uh, and performance perspective to support crypto at PayPal scale. But rather than dive into that, uh, the topic I wanted to close with uh, was to give people uh, a bit more insight into how the Paxos uh, treasury offering uh, is working uh, to support PayPal's crypto product. Uh, so what you can see now, this is a view from the Paxos admin portal. Uh, specifically, this is our signing ceremony page. So this is an internal workflow that our operations team goes through multiple times a day to move assets in between traditional uh, banking, bank accounts and blockchains. So you can see there's this current network graph section this uh, represents the various blockchains where Paxos is holding or tokenizing assets. And then on the Ethereum blockchain, you can see uh, we sort of tokenize or hold assets across USD, gold, and Ethereum. So if I click gold and then I go down to the asset graph, Pax G or Pax Gold is the tokenized gold product that Paxos supports. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, uh, you can see there are a bunch of it, crypto addresses that Paxos manages where we hold various amounts of Pax Gold. There's also this unallocated gold account. This represents the physical gold uh, that is backing the Pax Gold on blockchain. And the, again, this is a really core workflow that what Paxos does because we're, our goal is to create trust that any asset that we're tokenizing on a blockchain is backed at least one-to-one -one by a real world asset uh, in an underlying account. Uh, and the way that this system has been constructed so it can scale to support multiple blockchains and uh, you know, multiple tokenized assets are, uh, on those blockchains. Uh, and so that's really uh, all the entire demo I wanted to share. Uh, the last thing is if you are interested uh, in learning more about our API offering, you can check out our docs at developer.paxos.com slash docs. Uh, there's an endpoint here where if you get a sandbox account, you can create a, uh, uh, create a sandbox deposit give yourself some fake USD and start going through those trading workflows I demoed earlier. Uh, we also have a few uh, webinars uh, later this quarter on different enterprise applications of crypto. Uh, and so with that, Ben, happy to turn it over to you and uh, really appreciate the time.